Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Sherry. Sherry. Good morning. Oh, here comes Jonathan and Nathan. Morning, Sherry. Good morning, Eleanor. I just wait until everyone gets here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jonathan and Nathan. Okay, you need to do it at least a minute or two earlier than nine o'clock. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's really cutting it. But good morning, everybody. Good Long morning. time no Good morning, see. Sherry. All right, so go, I see Sue up here first. Good morning, Sue. <coughs> you have to unmute. There you go. I know. I was trying. I couldn't find my unmute button. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sue. Thank you. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Royce. Good morning. Good morning, Royce. Good morning, Royce. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Can you uh, sit up and join us a little bit more? You tend to keep going more and more in the background. Thank you. Good morning, Sam. Good Good morning, Sam. Good morning, everybody. You were the first on this Sam. morning. Good job. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Devin. Good morning, Sam. Can't hear you, Devin. Devin, try again. And it looks like. All right, I'll move on and come back to you and you can speak. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Jordan. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Eleanor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, everybody. Morning, John. Good morning, John. Morning, John. Good morning, Clad. Good morning, everyone. And have a great day. Morning, Clad. Bye. Morning, Clad. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. Hi, Jonathan. Morning, Jonathan. Morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning Natasha. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning. Hey Tyler. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Devin, let's try you again. Good morning, Devin. I mean, yeah. Good morning. You're you're cutting out, but we heard the very first part. Okay. All right. So, plenty to discuss this morning. Um, for one thing, I'd like to say we're. We're 95% at least that we're going back on November 2nd. The only thing we are waiting on is to make sure of EVS cleaning, which they're going to come in and COVID clean our room this morning, and they're going to give us the supplies and the training. But Dale still, yeah. helps them for, Dale still wants a little bit more than that. So that's the only thing um, holding us up from returning on November 2nd. Remember, it'll be half and half. I've been working on um, putting you into teams kind of based on mobility. And what else? What else about that? Anybody have questions about going back right now? Okay, so remember, we're 95%, okay? I cannot tell you 100% yet, all right? And 
and we'll figure I'm trying to figure out curriculum for online and curriculum for in person and there's whoo a lot going on over here but I'm excited that we're getting closer to getting back yes Yvonne um are we gonna go to uh four hour days that's what I heard wow. yes our, and I asked for ours a little bit later I wanted to keep us on our 8 30 schedule especially because a couple of you are riding the bus like for an hour and a half so um we our days will be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday on campus, 8.30 to 12.30, where I'm looking at half of you coming Monday, Tuesday, half of you coming Thursday, Friday, and then Wednesday you will be doing one-on-one -on -one with staff, okay? So that's what we're looking at. I've, I've been working hard, but I got a lot more to do. <laughs> Go ahead, Stefan. You, when you mean by one on one, on, which you mean on the computer, right? Yes, on Wednesdays. Okay. So, what you would be, you'd be in class two days, okay? You would be working online two days, probably more kind of small groups and stuff, not individual. But on Wednesdays, um, I'm looking, you might have a little bit of class time um, and you'll have one on one time. So, I'm still playing with the minutes, right? <laughs> Okay, so a couple of things, and Royce knows. Royce, why don't you put a little bit more light on you today? Uh, uh, all right. You turn, there you go. Um, I thought you were going to get something to me last night, and I didn't receive it. That's that's because I'm still work, working on it. My my family came over here, and I just want to ask them to do, do the video. And I was doing my po poster as well. Are you doing both? Good yeah, you. yeah, I was doing both. It was it was pretty so exhausting. Okay, so you know tomorrow you're doing your video presentations, correct? And yes. how many are doing a video? Raise your hand. Jordan, Stefan, Royce, Tyler, Natasha, you have one, right? I did one, Sherry, and I sent it to you. Okay. Do you all know how to share? Royce, you do. Or uh, Clad, you did one too. Yes. Okay. No. All right. I, I, so, I don't. Go ahead, Stefan. I don't. I still need help. Okay. So those of you that know for sure how to share your screen and share your presentation, you're good. The ones that do not need to work with their staff, and then between the two of you, hopefully, you can make it happen. Okay, so um, something I want to talk about with students and staff, your half an hour one-on-one -on -one is not optional. It's not optional. You don't get to just say, I don't need your help, okay? And particularly not involve me in the process. So the first thing is kind of calling Royce on that. So Royce decided he needed no help right? Not, not Royce's decision, not staff decision. Okay. And he went ahead and sent an email mentor and we're going to look at what Royce sent, which he's going to correct and resend. Um, not okay. Okay. You don't all get to just make your own schedules out there. I, I spend a lot of time on schedules. There's reasons for them. There's a certain amount of minutes you're supposed to spend online, um, on and on. None of you get to make that call. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and share, show you one of the many reasons why. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Why does this look different, Royce? I didn't say anything to you yet. That, that, I think that's the one that I just gave you. No, this isn't what I saw yesterday. I, I didn't send them the new one I'm working on yet. I, I, I swear I never did. Okay, well this looks a little bit better than what I saw yesterday. Okay. So hi Dolly, what should be there? A comma. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your reply. I found it interesting that you play Dungeons and Dragons no punctuation, a capital F for me, no comma, 
personally, I could consider it one day. Okay, now we have two sentences in a row that begin with the word and. We never do that, okay? And you worked in a restaurant, that's amazing. You've got experience with food service skills. And as for your questions, no, it's not my first year at Project Search. I had experience before and it was great. I've learned a lot of things. Your second question that I had a job before, the answer is technically, yes, I did. So you see the blue underline there? There's gonna needs to be a comma. Okay, all of you that are turning things in still with blue underlines and red underlines, that means fix it, okay? If you have an underline, there's a situation. If you just click on it, it'll tell you. Like right here with the situations, right? I can see it there's space between the word and the comma, okay? Let's see. I was part of another program called Workability where students work at places and they get paid minimum wage. My first job was a library. Has anybody ever been a library before? No? No. Um, where I take an album and take the pictures and scan them on the computer and to store them on a USB drive so that if the pictures get damaged in any way, you can store them on any USB to your computer and then your pictures are safe. Woo, that's a mouthful in a sentence, isn't it? Okay, he's talking, um, He's not talking past tense, he's talking current, right? And this job was quite some time ago, so it would be EDs, correct? Okay. Um, at Project Search, I am learning Kaiser codes for dangerous slash threatening situations, learning about health and safety and communication. Again, we have no punctuation, okay? What do you like best about your job? What do you think the three most important skills employability skills are. The three most important skills that I think are most important, time management, professional, professionalism initiative. So there would be R, right? Most important R, and we wouldn't capitalize time or professionalism, and he didn't type initiative, so they don't even blend like that, okay? Um, he also has multiple fonts on here. I hope to hear from you again. I would believe would be a comma, kind regards would be a comma. Okay, this does look better than what I pulled up yesterday, but it has a lot of mistakes. Okay, these are the reasons I have you work with staff, and then I ask you to even share with me, right? So Royce, I know I gave you a hard time, and I did tell you we're gonna talk about this today, but if you were working with staff, that wouldn't have went out like that, okay? I understand. Does anyone have any comments on what Royce wrote? Or you think I, you think I did a pretty good job there? So Royce, I'm sorry, but this is this is serious. I don't want emails that are not worked on with staff, checked by staff, checked by me, going out to professional people. Okay, not okay. I'm really, I really am sorry for this. I know you are, but you know, I and I'm sorry that I had to make an example, but I did. It's just I, did. I forgot to send send to John. I I just merely merely sent it sent by act by by accident since I just went staying with my grandma right now. I understand that, but you and John have one on one time, right? And you're saying you don't need it, and you do need it. And again, it's not your choice. If any of you are missing one-on-one -on -one or any class, I want to know, okay? I need to know. So we're going to get off of that and go to something more positive. And I'm, I'm trying to be real fancy today. I have another shared screen thing here. And let's see if I can pull this off. Um, yep. Getting a tiny bit better at this. Okay, so this is the Sacramento Regional Transit RT Route Planner, RT uh, Trip Planner, okay? So I've talked a few about this. A few of you know how to do this already. Yeah. Um, I do have your routes, but I want you to be able to get your routes. 
So for example, um, who can I put in here first? Me. Okay, Stefan wants to put his in. Okay, so let me find Stefan's. All right, so we're always gonna end, right? At 32.14 Arden Way. And I'm gonna want you all to play with this, okay? I'm gonna show you a few. Oops, why didn't go in? Oh, there you go. Okay. Except I'm at the wrong place. That's why. Okay. So coming from Stefan's house. 39, 49. Ash. Ash Grove Way. Ash. Is it one word? Yeah. Okay. Ash Grove Way. And so we're going to scroll down here. And this, was, this is where people mess up a lot. You do not want to go by, so you do not want to go by departure time, okay? You want to go by arrival time. So where you see this departure time, you click it, and it'll give you an option of arrival time. And that's because it's important that you're there on time, right? That's what ultimate, ultimately matters here. So let's say, um, let's say for tomorrow, because we're already past the time today, and we want to arrive at 8.30 a.m., okay? So, so does everyone get what we're doing here? You're just putting in your address on top. You're putting in our address for our classroom on the bottom. Always, you have to do this a day ahead, okay? So like if you all were playing around with this this afternoon and you did today's date at 8.30 a.m., it wouldn't show anything, right? Because 8.30 a.m. is already passed. All right, so then we just hit go. And they'll give you the written instructions over here. Just wait. I'm not even that far. Oh, you're, you and Nathan are the furthest. But yours actually isn't too bad. Yours is under an hour, 51 minutes. Okay? Uh -huh. So what it shows you, Stefan, is you're going to have to walk about eight minutes from your house. To get up to Kiefer and Huntsman. Do you know where that is? Uh, no. Okay. Well, it's only eight minutes from your house. We will figure it out. We will go to your door stop with you. Okay. Your front door. Okay. All right. And then you're going to get on the bus 72 at Kiefer and Huntsman, which you will ride on for only seven minutes. And then you walk one minute to your next bus which is bus 84, which a few of you will end up on 84. A lot of you will actually, probably about half the class will end up on 84 at different points in your route, okay? So you get on 84 and it's gonna take you all the way to right across the street from our class. And that bus route is 20 minutes. And then you walk six minutes to get to our class and you get there at 822 and you're on time. Wow. Pretty cool. Seems legit. Seems legit. Okay. All right. So let's see. How do I go back and do somebody else here? You see that back button up there? This one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um it's still click it again. Get it again. And again. Sometimes it there we go. There we go. If you want me to see their route. I want to. Okay, so let's look at Andrew's route. So we're gonna keep, right? We're gonna keep the same date, the same time. And look, it changed back, so we have to go to departure time again. So all we gotta do is change this address. Andrew, I've got it. You can tell me if you want. 6361 Palm Drive. 361 Palm Drive. And then what city is that? Fair Oaks? Uh, Carmichael. Carmichael. You may or may not even need to put Carmichael in. Okay. So remember, we're going to change this to arrival time and hit. Oh, it changed the date back too. Okay. <laughs> wow. Mine's <laughs> like way short. <laughs> that is 
spot. And it, what's really kind of funny is although you live a whole lot closer than Stefan, it takes you longer. It takes well, you yeah. I mean, if I got up like really early in the morning, I could probably ride my bike over, but. That is an option as well. You are allowed to ride your bikes. If you get a license in a car, you're allowed to drive your car. You're allowed to ride RT. You're allowed to walk. But we can't get rides. In the beginning, in the beginning, we will have to, okay? You're going to have to have a pickup and a drop off, and I'll probably try to have a, a, you know, a Zoom meeting with parents and all of you. Um, because just until you're trained, except the people that are already trained don't need that. Go ahead, Stefan. You just, uh, I just want to make sure I'm hearing this right. We're allowed to, to bike there. Your bike is going to be a very long ride, Stefan. I probably would not recommend that for you. Far, far. Yeah, that's really far. You're <laughs> far away. C could I say something? Yes, go ahead, yeah. Tyler. That's not the bus I would take in the morning. Okay. And we live right very close to each other, so. Right. Yeah. I would take bus 129, and that it doesn't show it on there because it comes goes at seven in the morning. At seven in the morning. Yeah. Oof. Um. So you want to leave 15 minutes earlier? Well, it's just easier for me because I don't want to have to walk all the way to Fair Oaks Boulevard. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, because I see your walk is 15 minutes. It's also very good exercise. <laughs> but I, um, Tyler, I do know that you have a lot of experience on the bus. I do want to also teach Andrew, though, for days you're not there. Um, but if, you know, to work with you, I know that you're the man that knows the routes, okay? Okay. So, uh, we can discuss that. The one I pull up is this. But I am. I have gonna, a question. Hold on a second. I am. Um, gonna, excuse me. I think I have um see some I think I have the CC at ten, I think. You see who at ten? I think so, I don't know. I think so. Why do you see her at ten? Oh today. I thought it was today. Um why do you see Sue at today? I'm not knowing or remembering. I thought it was. Jerry, we have both fit scheduled today. At 10 a.m.? No, at 11, <clears throat> excuse me, 11.40. Oh, uh, I just didn't remember. I don't remember this. Why is that? Because vote fits usually later in the afternoon, so I'm. Oh, I mean 1.40. Yeah. Sorry, too many ones in that. <laughs> okay all right so, so we can debate this with tyler and andrew on this route would anyone else like to see a route show me mine oh, i had something to uh, ask go ahead ask your question and remember i can't see all your faces right now so you're going to have to ask or if staff can see all faces i can only see a couple Go ahead, Andrew. Um, so for me, it, would it be possible to put my bike on the bus? Yeah, that's what I did a couple times. Um, but but why? If you're not even walking, why are you putting your bike on the bus? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, why? I just, Tyler, was that? Usually, I, usually I like to ride my bike in the afternoon, so. Well, the only issue is it's I have to have somewhere to lock it up because there's people that'll steal it. True. And I don't understand if you're taking it practically from your front door, why you would need to do that. And once you all get trained, and if you have something you want to do after program, that's your life, right? Right? I mean, I, I, I'm not going to tell you you can't do that. But don't be bringing it just to bring it. And I'd rather you get more comfortable riding the bus first, Andrew. And it's a little bit scary going to putting your bike up there in front of the bus. It's something I really wouldn't even want to do. But, but Tyler is a lot braver than I am. I mean, I'm scared. What if the bus driver forgets you right there? Splat. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm not. We do have dash cams, so. I'm not I'm saying not. you can't. Yeah. Um, but I would like you to learn your route first. 
Okay. I would like you to get used to the system first and then that's fine. All right. So Clad. If I if I may say Go ahead. My, only, my only concern is the people that you'll meet. So that's the only that's my only concern. And so you'll what? meet a lot. It's the people you'll meet, because you'll meet a lot of people that are you don't have you know, to meet all the people on RT or at the bus stops, right? No. Like the hospital, I say be friendly, say hello to people. RT, I yeah. say eh, maybe not so much, right? You don't give them your phones. You don't want to become buddies out there. Um, if you feel nervous when you're on the bus, where did I tell you to sit? In the back? No. If you're uncomfortable and you feel unsafe, where should you sit? In the front. Or up by the driver, correct. Okay. So if you feel, I'm, I also tell you, don't just take disabled seats, right? Because mm -hmm. people with more severe disabilities will need them more than you. At the same time, if you feel unsafe, you do do that. Okay. All right, Pat, let's put your address in here. All right. Go ahead. 6628 Lincoln Avenue. Here is Fair Oaks, right? Hmm? Fair Oaks? Yes. <laughs> that sounded like a, a question mark in that statement. I it might be Carmichael. I think it's Fair Oaks. Because he bought Carmichael. Fair Oaks, right? You don't know where you live, Clint? Yeah. I think I, I do live in Carmichael. Yeah, I, I think you're Fair Oaks. But here, I can even try and take that out for right now. We might not even need it. If not, we can try it both ways. Okay, so arrival time, correct? But you need to be there at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I'd probably just show up there a little bit earlier then. Well, you'll see what, that's why we do it by yeah. arrival time, okay? It thinks you're downtown. The so yours is only 26. Oh, the things were downtown. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So we got to go. <laughs> so it does matter. Oh, we're not downtown. Great. Spare Oaks. There goes my cat running around the crazy. Oh, uh, okay. 6628. Yeah, I, I don't have that written here, but I'm pretty sure from my routes. Going here. May I go to the bathroom, Miss Sherry? What's that? Yes. Thank you. It'll only be a minute. Lad, where where is your nearest cross streets? Oops, I just put I didn't put nearest like, cross streets. Uh, yeah, I think it's California. A, California. That might be Carmichael. That is Carmichael. Okay. Funny enough, I actually live right next to Fair Oaks itself, but I actually live in Carmichael. Yeah, here it is, Carmichael. That's the one. Yeah, sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, but like living in Orange That's County. <laughs> All right, so yours is going to take. Where does it say that? No, 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 no. We it had to go back to arrival. Oh, because it has a Saturday. I don't know why it has a Saturday. We can do this one. Okay, so you would leave at 718 in the morning, get on bus 23 for 13 minutes, and uh -huh. then I think we just like cross the street. I did something wrong here where it looks not the same. Um, so 23 you take to bus 82. And there's and why 129 like I was talking about. Oh, those are three different routes. Where is your 129? on the bottom there. that's what I was talking okay. about. So this is the one that Tyler prefer prefers. Hmm. But it gets you there earlier if you like to be early in the morning. Okay, so see how you have these three possibilities of routes? This is the one? Yeah. Tyler it gets you there and it, there's only one bus and there's no other stops. Only 34 <laughs> minutes, right? Oh. Or this route's going to take you 54 and this route's going to take you 57 minutes. Okay. Okay. I'll use that then. You click on details, you might be able to. Yeah. 
Um, do, 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 do. See, see, and there you are. Wait, okay. So, you, that's Can I say something? That has you walking 12 minutes. Uh, what happened here? Oh, okay. Then you just take the one line, you're on it for 20 minutes. But then, see, you're getting there an hour and 15 minutes early. Mm -hmm. so Tyler enjoys that. Um, I like that. You like being there an hour and 15 minutes early as well? Mm -hmm. And once you all have your badges, you'll have access to get into the room. But let me tell you, you have to be mature in there because I'm not there at 7.15 in the morning. Okay? And if I hear anything about people not being mature in the classroom, then we will find a different route. Okay, it's not like a big place to play until staff get there, right? I mean, you can sit down, you can eat your breakfast, you can stop and get breakfast on the way, you can talk with your friends, okay? But it's not like a, it's not like a party because the teachers <clears throat> are there, right? Sherry, yeah. Um, <clears throat> when we go back to the classroom, I always got there super early too. So, just throwing that out there. Okay, and I still, um, so far as staff, I don't know if you if you and Sue have heard from Dale yet because she's going to talk to you all about that part, and I've been told to not. So <laughs> we'll see what, what, um, what she has to say. Okay. Jerry, so, I have one question. Are we going to be um, having to take temperatures of everybody? That is still a question they put out there. I would like to, but I guess what they're wanting to do is see if, everyone wants to do it or not or it could be considered uh unequal, optional unequal right that some students would get more and some students would get less you know it's all about equity so uh i don't have a final answer i would like to do that um yeah okay so i'm going to stop sharing this unless there's one more person just dying to see their route I uh, will go oh, ahead. I and just remember what my dad wanted. This is. <laughs> oh, I hear a couple of you. Okay, who did I hear before, Stefan? Nathan. Nathan, yes. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do my route because I want to see how long. <laughs> you know, we talked. Yeah. We talked about how your, long? a ride to the bus stop because it's a long walk. So um, it will cut a lot of time if you do that. All right, let's get your address in here, Nathan. Um, Ms. Sharon? Yes, Stefan. I remember what my dad wanted me to tell you, that we set up a doctor's appointment for um, Monday. Yes. Coming up. I know. And um, I am not looking forward to that. But you're going to man up, right? Yep. You got this. It's not fun, but it really doesn't take very long. And then you're boom, done. And then I bet you'll get some kind of a reward for it, right? Yep. Maybe work with dad and say, all right, if I don't cry, can you take me here when we're done? Something like that. I don't cry. You don't cry? I don't cry. Oh. No. You just get, get a little scared? Yes. Okay. So yeah, it, we'll be okay. We will all get through all these steps, I promise. Some will be a little more uncomfortable than others, but we will get through. All right, Nathan, Men don't cry. right here. 85, 55, Pheasant Ridge. That's a cool name for a street. Two words, right, Nathan? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. I believe so. Pheasant Ridge Lane. And that's orange. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that does actually sound like a good idea for a good name. Uh -huh. All right. Um, Stefan, oh what was my. that? What was that last comment that you said? Oh God! Oh, I just said really? don't cry. That's not true. That is so not true. It is not totally true. okay for anybody to cry. The I just, crying is a sorry, part of Sherry, life. but I, <laughs> I heard, I thought I heard that's what he said, and I <laughs> needed a comment on that because it is totally okay for 
Pure All of us to cry. Three hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was true. All right, let's get back to focus here, okay? Oh my. Yeah, that's oh, a God. Now, is hey, who's that? That's uh-huh. a long way to travel. So, oh, you, my. oh my gosh, yours is saying three hours and nineteen minutes. How did that happen? Because that's three a, out. Because what, Tyler? That's a morning bus that only comes once in the morning and once in the afternoon, and it goes downtown, and then that other bus goes. Those are like all day buses. Well, and part of it is is that his walk would take him thirty two minutes. And so we've already talked with mom that she'll get him up to the bus stop. So see that? I mean, oh, yeah. you would have to leave at 626 in the morning to get your first bus at 658. But because you can get a ride, because that half hour, that's just a long walk, right? So I'm definitely not trying to hold Nathan to that. If he can get a ride, awesome. But if he couldn't at the same time, Nathan, right? You said we'd make it happen. Right. Right? So technically, it takes you. Down to, oh my goodness that what did i look up for you because it wasn't that that route does not make sense logistically <laughs> at all well, that's a downtown peak hour i have written down two hours and 15 minutes it goes around and then back 9 45 in the morning which won't work did we not go by arrival time <laughs> i think we did go by arrival time <laughs> um, yeah. But you can't get Maybe there. we should double check it. You can't get there at Oof. 9 5 in the morning, though. So I don't know that we put it at arrival time. Let's see. Um, arrive. Yep. Yeah, arrive by. Oh, because it's a Saturday one. Oh. Oh. It keeps uh, doing that. Okay. This Because I know it wasn't that bad. Holy oh, really boy. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ooh, look at that 556 in the morning. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Remember, that's after, <coughs> hold on. That's after your <laughs> half hour. We <coughs> okay, guys, can you please mute? <sighs> Way too much talk going on and noises. Okay, so it looks like you have three choices, right? It looks like no matter, or four choices maybe. And Tyler, you can unmute if you want to help me talk this. Okay, so no matter what, you're going to get on bus 109 at 628. Okay? You okay? I'm just staring at this thing. I'm just like, this is exactly why I need to learn to drive soon. Yes. But it gives you even more incentive to learn how to drive, right? Because you're like, dang, that's long. Hey, Sherry? Yes. Uh, Tyler and I, we've talked about him getting his license, and he, he's getting his permit, or he got his permit, right? Yeah, Tyler? he's still practicing driving right now. Yeah, so he should get his license not too long. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, that's when you and Andrew will split. Right. Okay? You do not get to drive someone else during program hours. Okay? You can drive yourself, but you could not drive Andrew. Okay. But Andrew, you need to learn your independence too. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I sound kind of upset. I'm like, huh? Oh. <laughs> That's the reality. Tyler might not be there. It's not safe to have a new driver during our hours driving our driving someone else. Tyler, you know that from yeah. last year, right? No, it was I think it was the year before I had the most people with a license and they and they were good friends that couldn't ride together either. And that's just that's just the way it is. Okay. Wow. So, say that. so no matter what, let's get back to Nathan here, okay? Nathan, you will not have to you have to be at the bus actually at six twenty eight. Okay? Okay. So, and you want to be a few minutes early, right? But with your mom driving you, that's going to be a five to 10 minute drive compared to a half hour walk. Correct. Although I'm not going to be a big fan of having to wake up at the same time as my dad, which is 4 a.m. You don't have to get up at 4 a.m. for that. Does it take you uh, two hours to get ready? Um. Depending on the day, usually no, but there are times when I'll drag my feet sometimes, and that's kind of where it is. But well, you're going to pick up those dragon feet, right? Yeah. Thing, if you have to get up that early, 
you know, maybe you take your showers the night before. You have your clothes all laid out, right? right? And then it can take a lot of time off you getting ready in the morning. Correct. Jerry, did you want to um, tell the story about our last student, um, how many hours and how early he had to get up to get to Kaiser to do his intern? Oh, uh, the one that got hired, right? Yeah. Yes. Tyler uh, oh. that. Okay. That's one of the reasons he got hired, right? He was proving that he could be reliable, that he was willing to go through all these hoops, that he was willing to get up however early he could, right? And he was on time every day. And he had to be there at 7 o'clock because he was working at the hospital at the beginning of the shift. So he was getting on buses like 5.30. Like the 4 a.m. light rail. It was very, very early, but now he gets paid twenty-seven dollars an hour. He has a license. He's bought a car, right? We don't start at the top, but if we're willing to put in the work, the results can be great, right? Pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean that's very impressive. I believe. Okay, but that sure. he had the I can do. You know, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, rather than the, oh my gosh, this is going to suck so bad, right? He had the right attitude. And attitude, right, we learned is, what, 99% is attitude, <laughs> or at least 90%. Okay, so now when you look down here, Nathan, you see one in total would take two hours and 21 minutes, one would take two hours and eight minutes, and one would take what's the other one say oh two hours and 19 minutes okay but i believe that still includes that walking time mm -hmm. right so you're looking at a little bit over an hour and a half i believe on buses so we oh, could we goodness. could look at these routes um one of them is taking the 38 the next two are both the 67 but then you still get one more choice the 13 and the 30. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you get on the 82. Woo -hoo. I probably wouldn't pick that one myself just because I don't want to go on four buses. Although this one with the uh, 109 to 6, uh, 7 and the 13th, I would, uh, I would walk a little bit. I personally would choose the light rail one because the light rail comes every 15 minutes and it's a bit uh, more um, convenient. So the gold line you're talking? Yeah. Oh. Hey, look at that. Okay. So that's why I want you all to play with this. I want you to get comfortable with it, but I wanted to kind of be able to show you some. And whatever ones we change up, I'll print out a new one. It looks like I will be your mobility trainer. Okay. okay. So I'll be on the bus with you. I'm not going to be able to let people just ride buses all over the place. Right. We talked about that. I'm not going to be able to do that so much. Um, but a lot of you will end up on the same bus at the end. Um, so, um, actually, never mind. What? Here, I'm gonna stop sharing, okay? Okay. Oh, I can see you all again. <laughs> I felt a little lonely with only like four faces there. So, not all of you need it. There will be staff in the classroom. There will be staff online. I will um, be doing the mobility, except Miss Natasha. Yes. We're going to need to do, you and John are going to need to do, do yours next week. Three times. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. We're having a Tuesday, so I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. If you show me completely dialed okay, out. Okay, I was just trying to. This one, go ahead. What? Go ahead. Did you hear me? I was just trying to see what day I had to do it. That's all. Um, well, because you have an appointment Tuesday, I was kind of looking at Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Can you possibly not take appointments? Those okay. Days? Okay. Maybe don't take appointments. Those um, days. It's about my leg. So that was actually really important. It's my leg. Well, no, that's fine. But that's why I said we can work around that. Yes. Um, okay, but I need you to keep three yeah. other open next week so this can be dialed. Okay? 
because we're looking at the very next well, week. Well, it just randomly came up. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying if you could hold those other okay. three days and not schedule appointments in unless they're, you know, a lot later, you're coming far, and I just want to make sure you are safe. And then John and staff will have to do some switching around of the people that, John, you would be normally working with those days. So we'll have to like, um, oh, right. we'll have to make that work. So John, you okay with that? Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, mobility so, training? Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, yeah. Okay, that way we can get that one done. And then I'll just be going out there with mobility. Okay. I and, think we can all do it. Yeah, I know you can all do it. I've been doing this my six year doing this. I know you can all do it. I, I'm actually excited to do it because I want to learn how to um, ride the bus more efficiently. Yeah. So if I yeah. Know, then I can do it. Sorry, Stefan. Independence is always a good thing, right? Every step you can take be to become more independent is awesome. Okay. At first, it can be a little nervous, just like getting the shots or, or first time learning to ride the bus. But you will all be so confident. I'm telling you, at the end of the year, every year, it's the number one thing that students are proud of, that they learn to ride the RT by themselves. I mean, year after year, that's huge. And then the few that get their driver's license, right, that's even bigger, right? Yes. But they're, they are starts to independence, to adulthood. Because do you really want to be, what, 30 years old and still have your mom giving you, or your dad giving you a ride everywhere you go? No. Right? Plus, do you think you could go more places if you weren't waiting for your parents to give you rides everywhere you go? Yes. It's freedom. Right? It's independence. It's freedom. It's something to be proud of. Go ahead, Nathan. I was going to say, like, Brad Park, freedom! Yeah, it's like that. And the pride you will have in yourselves, you may already be feeling it, but you're going to feel it even more. Okay, like I know Andrew got a little scared today when I said he can't drive with Tyler, but that, you know, you're not going to have Tyler every minute. Andrew, you're not going to have Tyler every minute of your life either. So that's I know. <laughs> when you're relying on somebody else. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry, Tony's Tony's asking me questions. Okay, so we have that. Like I say, I'm still working on the schedule. Chances are I'll only be taking one to two people at the most on the bus at a time. Um, okay. Sherry. Go ahead, Natasha. I just have a question about when I signed up with the Crossroads. Okay. When will I get back with that? Well, am I the person to talk to about that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't run Crossroads, right? So yeah. I'm the person. So let's check on that. How many people have signed up for Crossroads? My dad said that there was paperwork, but he couldn't go over it with me yesterday. He said that you sent him some paperwork, correct? That's yeah. for Crossroads. Again, that's not me. Okay, I try to bring all this support in oh, for all of but Never I don't mind. want all those supports, right? So if you're working with DOR or you're working with STEP or you're working with Crossroads, you need to make those connects, okay? If you get stuck on something, I'm more than happy to help you, okay? But, I, you know, I can't do it all. <laughs> That's where you all have to go, I really want a job. I better step up. What do I need to do, right? And if you're unsure, you contact those people. And if you can't get your answers that way, then talk to me, okay? But I want you to try to do what you can do on your own first. Mm -hmm. Correct? I mean, you're going to find you get a lot more freedoms in this class, but you also get a lot more responsibility. Because I'm not going to treat you like kids. Go ahead, Nathan. Um, I've said this before, once, and I'll say this before. One of the biggest lessons I learned from Spider-Man was with great power comes great responsibility. That's right. And that's probably a, a great quote for us to put in a newsletter at some point <laughs> and to put on our board to remind us. Go ahead, Clad.
got to unmute. Oh, I didn't have my hand up. Oh, I thought you did. Okay. No, but I was going to say, Jordan, yes, I agree. Okay. Jordan, why aren't you in a chair? Uh, because my cousin's girlfriend is, watch is downstairs watching my cousin, Casey. And I, the TV was on, so... I thought you've had a chair in that room before. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's just been, we have this, we have this little chair. This little thing. <laughs> yeah, that probably, that may or may not work. But don't you have like a folding chair in your house or something you can bring up when you do that? You know, one of those little folding chairs? Woo. I don't think we have one in this room. Okay, come sit down. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you all everywhere, <laughs> okay? But I really want you all in chairs, okay? Yes. Great meetings don't come from sitting on beds. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, I'm sitting on a piano bench, which is which I have. I'm sitting on that right now. <laughs> I'm anything relevant. Yeah. You're you're on a chair. I'm just calling you all that aren't on chairs. <laughs> There you go. Sue's on her bouncing ball. <laughs> as long as y'all sit up straight, okay. right, comfy, we're good. Okay. I'm sure we have a lot more things to talk about. I believe that was... Oh, uh, a couple things we're looking at. I was speaking with Doug yesterday in EVS. So, so far, we can't get back into the hospital, but we can go to the medical centers. Right? So, for example, Point West, where we've worked at a few times, we can do things like um, like outside mainly, right? The windows, the doors, the handles, the picking up trash in the parking lot. I mean, there's we're working on a lot of things the we can do before we can get back in. And we're also looking at maybe doing some of your placements, you know, like Smart and Final, things like that. We might do some in the daytime until we can get back in internships. So we're, we're building this in a different way this year, but we are building it, okay? And that's all I have. So today you're all gonna work on whoever's doing video presentations. If you think you can do it on your own, then I want you to practice it, okay? I can make a co-host tomorrow when you wanna do, when it's your turn, all right? So if you can do it on your own, please practice first. And if you need help, that's why you have one-on-one -on -one support. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Worst case scenario, you can use me. But no, I'm getting better at this. Look, I shared two different things today. I'm, I'm, I'm a little proud. <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay. Anything else anyone would like to discuss? I think I'm for a moment. Did, did you get a chance to look at the um, cleaning video I sent you that me and Aunt Lonnie filmed? I did not. I started it for like one second and I don't remember what happened that it got me pulled away, but I saw yours was wow. pretty easy. So what, no. What I did is you said to do high touch or point. What I did is I cleaned all the light switches, cleaned the counter, and then I cleaned all up and down our railing, too. Okay, good. So I've seen some of you kind of just kind of went in there and cleaned, which we've talked about, but that's fine, right? And go ahead, John. Uh, we're, I'm sorry, I didn't want you to change the subject. Um, did you see the uh, newsletter at all? I did, and yeah, we have to talk about that. For one thing, I can't open that. I don't have, I don't have okay. that. Um, and I did see things. For one thing, Project Search has to be written the way Project Search writes it. Capital P for Project, all caps for Search. Oh, because we use the actual logo for Project Search. That's how Project Search always does it. No. That's all I, I mean, Project Search has actually asked me to correct my work so that I did it that way. That's cool. odd, Sherry, yeah, because it has a little logo guy on it and everything. I didn't notice that because I just look like Project Search. 
Yeah, uh, it's the actual logo, so I don't know. I, mean, I know that our, our person for California has corrected me on that before, so that's interesting. Right? Um, hmm. so yeah, for one thing, though, I can't open that program, and I didn't have did, time to, like, download another program. And is there any other? You, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but did J Jordan send it to you through um, – Jordan, you want to help me out with this? How did you send it to Sherry? Through email. John shared it with you, and then he couldn't share it with you, so I sent it to you through email. Right, but when I open it up, it won't let me open it. It, it won't work. Because I don't have that program. Okay, maybe I can uh, send you screenshots of it. Have you gotten everyone? Oh, go ahead, Tyler. I turned in my video on Google Classroom. Okay, are you going to be able to uh, show it, or do you need me to show it? Um, either way is fine, I guess. Okay, if you all can show it, it's another independent step and a little bit less stress for me. But I don't mind. I'll figure it out. If you can't do it, please let me know, and then I'll try to have it up in the morning. Well, I just, if I can share my screen, I guess I could. Okay, um, so again... Go ahead and one more time, I want to write down, just tell me the names of everyone doing a presentation tomorrow so I can try to be set up for that. Okay, so just shout out names if you're doing a presentation. I see Jordan, Glad, Royce, uh, Stefan, Tyler, yeah, me. anybody else? Okay. Um, don't I have to do the presentation okay. with the video because I gave you the video? Yes. I thought. Oh. All right. I will see what I can do to pull all those up. Um, was it Nathan I, doing it too? And Nathan? Uh, I'm, I chose poster. Yeah. Nathan chose poster. Okay. I did both though. Okay. Good. Good job. So, um, yeah. I mean, hopefully you're not going to make me pull them all up. <laughs> I would like to hear from you today. I'd like you to practice. If you can pull your own up, please do and let me know. If not, I will see what I can do. That, that's a lot of things for me to pull up. That's six. <laughs> um, or maybe John, the ones that you're working with, maybe you can pull them up. Or I would, like, I would like to not have to be responsible for all six of these if possible. So please, people, talk to me today about who's got it, who, what staff can help, what's, which of you can do it on your own, and who needs me to do it, okay? So please let me know that today. Guys. 9.58. Can't believe it. I just go into Google Classroom. I, just, I viewed Tyler's and Jordan's off of Google Classroom. Yeah. And so I'm sure I can just open Google Classroom up and share that. Okay. Yeah, that's something I'll be playing with today. Boy, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, we all are. Uh, okay. All right. Anything else? No questions? Would you, uh, for the mobility no. training, would you like us to do the morning and the afternoon, correct? For what? I'm sorry. For mobility training? Well, I'd like you to... I'd like you to be able to arrive at Project Search by 8.30. Okay, so... Um, That's what it needs to be set on. So do it on your arrival time, and then once so you that, you could be done. So going, I mean, what I mean is uh, going home, do we need to do mobility training going home? Oh, yes. Okay. Besides, that's where your vehicle would be anyway. Yeah. Right? If you're riding round trip, you got to go back and get your vehicle. So with all of us, we will be starting mobility training backwards, okay? So I'm gonna have to get out a letter and stuff. So for example, you're all gonna be at Project Search at 8.30, and then we're gonna to go to your house, and then we're gonna come back. So for the first couple of weeks, however long it takes for you to be mobility trained, you're gonna to have to get rides. Got it. My dad could probably give me a ride. Yeah, Stefan, I already talked to your dad. He has no problem with that. Okay, I mean, so when I look at everyone here, Royce knows how to do it. Jonathan, I'm going to have to talk with your family. 
I know. Nathan, I have a feeling yours will work out fine with your mom. Go ahead. Unmute. Um, I was going to say that uh, my uh, route going backwards is going to be interesting. Why? Because I don't know. That, that bus 109 doesn't go backwards until like 5 p.m. Okay, then maybe we shouldn't look at that 109 route. Maybe. Uh, I don't. There's no <laughs> other Orangeville ones. There's In Fair Oaks, there's bus 23, but that's pretty much it. Was 109 in the middle of every route? No, that's in Orangevale and on Hazel. No, I mean, of all the routes we showed for Nathan, did he have to take that bus no matter what? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to really play with the times on Nathan's route. Uh, what Do we have lunch around 12? No, we do not because we're only in for four hours. Okay, so one o'clock is the it's end? Gonna a, it's going to be about the same online. Um, 8.30 to 12.30 is our program. Staff will have a 15 minute break between. And we'll have, you know, we'll have, I always give the um, people in class 15 minute break and with riding buses, you're gonna kind of naturally get that because there's gonna be some wait time involved, right? Mm -hmm. See, so there's a lot of good questions. I knew people should have more questions than this right now. Okay, but then, you know, as long as it's okay with your parents, it's fine with me, stop on your way home and get food, right? Like right by us, we have the Safeway, McDonald's, Burger King, go ahead. Safeway? Go a Safeway? I don't think my... Wait, I saw Jordan first. Go ahead, Jordan. Uh, well, like I told you, Ronnie, uh, is so fine with taking me to the bus stop in the morning, but I'd have to walk home in the afternoon? So they'd probably be fine if they give me my um, thing. They'll probably be fine with me stopping and getting food since I'm walking home. Okay. So these are conversations to start having. Go ahead, Stefan. I don't think my dad would care if I got food and stuff. Like, oh, but we have like to know after times, right? Yeah, like when I start riding the bus, I don't think he'll care as long as I get home safely. Okay, first we're going to learn the routes right, right? So for yes. a little bit, you might want to be, and I'll let you know what days you're going to be mobility training in advance, okay? So if you're just going to be in the classroom, you know, the things could be different. Um, if you're getting rides, maybe your parents would want to um, pick you up a little bit later so you can go have lunch, things like that. Go ahead, Natasha. Uh, the question I have is, because I have to use the bus, mm -hmm. and I have to use it back and forth, I don't have anyone if I wanted someone to pick me up, so I can't really do that. Right, and but that's so probably... Gonna... Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, I actually can't do that because of my situation, so I was wondering what the bus route looked like. I was going to ask when we were doing the route, but it's too... Um, well, we went over the bus route, Natasha. Kind of forgot. Right? Yeah, and I have your printout what? here. I can't hear what you said. It was Natasha. It was bad your Wi-Fi. Printout? Yeah. Okay. So what I have down is it's going to take you from six forty-seven to eight twenty-one. So that'll be an hour and a half. You only walk oh, through okay. after your first bus. You catch your first bus at 6.50, number 56. You ride it for 10 minutes, and then you walk two minutes. Your walks are short. Look, you have a three-minute walk, a two-minute walk, a one-minute walk, and a one-minute walk. So you won't be doing a lot of walking, three, five, seven minutes in the morning and seven minutes in the afternoon. Okay, so, so far as walking, you should be pretty good. But you take the 56 to the blue line to the 84. And then 84, a lot of you were okay. in, um, being on that bus together, getting on different places. Okay. Where's, oh, Eleanor, are you paying any attention today? Because I hardly see your eyes. Are we keeping you from something? No. Okay. Can you please be part of the class? 
Um, yes. Okay, Sue, yes. I was just going to ask about flu shots. Yeah, we need to get those. Um, right now, I'm working on setting up all the medical appointments. If you do go ahead and get your own flu shots, make sure you have a printout, whatever you get from the doctor that says you got your flu shot. I okay. got my flu we'll get them as soon as we can. Hold on, I see Jordan and I see John. Yeah, my wait, wait. I haven't finished talking with Sue yet. <laughs> Sue, did you have anything else on that? No, I just wondering because we usually all go there as a group, and I was wondering yeah. if they're requiring them since we have to wear masks anyways. So, well, yes, we definitely need it. I I would. I think if you're just being there, you need to, or you can wear your mask, right? But with COVID and the flu happening together, I highly, highly recommend people getting their flu shot this year. That's just my recommendation. They have had that choice at Kaiser where you could just wear a mask the whole season. But, you know, you really don't want to end up with that combo. Jordan, sit still. Okay, who was the next person that had their hand up? I believe it was Jordan. Go ahead. Uh, I got my flu shot at CVS and they gave us the paper. It's in my purse, so when we go back to school, I can give it to you. So I already got mine. Okay, good. So when we go into your employee health appointment, you need to have that paper on you, plus your proof of immunizations, whatever we need. We've got a lot of it already that we worked on before you ever started. Um, Andrew, I see you, but didn't I see someone else? That was me. Oh, go ahead, John. Uh, do we need a COVID test? No. Okay. Andrew? Um, let's see here. For since if we have Kaiser, do we, ha do we still have to go through that process of getting the paper? No, you can bring your Kaiser card. But Stefan, you don't have Kaiser, we discovered. Go ahead, Yvonne. Uh, don't. If you have Kaiser or not, it doesn't matter. Kaiser does drive through flu shots. And at this time of the year, everyone, the rush is over. So it's super quick and super easy. I already got my flu shot. They do not give stickers for your card anymore. But I got a little tiny um, paper saying when I got my flu shot. So just throwing mm -hmm. it out there. It's and it's free for anybody to get it. You don't have Where to. Have that What's that? Where did you go? I went um, to Roseville, the clinic on uh, Kirby. I think it's Kirby. It's not oh, the main hospital. Right. It's the the clinic there, and it's super easy and fast and and free. Drive so, through. What's that? You drive through and give you a shot. Like yeah. the test you seen. Yeah, so it's a drive. It's a drive-through shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Nathan, you're not cracking up about that. <laughs> Vaughn said it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm I was like, I'm sorry. what's I'm happening? Sorry. Because for a little bit, you sound like you were in a wind tunnel. Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me. Tell me that. Yeah, it was weird. I was just like, what is she said? What? I'm sorry. I, I still don't laugh. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. Uh, I was going to tell you that I'm not with, no longer with Kaiser anymore. That's okay. That's all right. You can go, you can get your records from anywhere. But if you do have Kaiser and you have your Kaiser card, they can look your stuff up for you, which is a little bit easier, I cannot deny, but that we can get your records from wherever. So if you go, get, but so Yvonne, you said that shot's free. Is that if you're just a Kaiser member or anybody could go? Anybody can go, anybody can go. And they do keep your record because you'll have to put your, your um, California ID in there um, so they can keep your record for the next time. Yeah, because some of my, my kids don't have Kaiser um, and they got them, they just get them in, they get everybody. They just want to get, make sure everyone has their flu shot. That's so awesome. yeah, it's easy to do. So Jordan, really? okay. I know you're getting a little restless. We have 11 minutes max. 
Hold on to professionalism. Sit up straight. Quit moving around. Thank you. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Nathan. Uh -huh. Um, I was gonna say so. Bus eighty four is gonna be like the party bus because we get to see each other in the morning, probably at one yeah. point. Uh, what I would like to say about that, right, is whenever you're riding the bus and you have anything to do with Project Search, it's not like woohoo party, okay? <laughs> you have no idea who's going to be on that bus. People from Kaiser ride that bus, right? right. Uh, possible employers ride the bus. Go ahead, Natasha. Um, the one time when I went on that bus, there's other people riding the bus trying to get to work. So if you're going to do that, they'll probably get um unhappy maybe yeah i Just mean saying. i think nathan that you're just being funny but honestly you are expected to be professional while riding the bus look at tyler there smiling what's on your mind tyler <laughs> well somebody said that we always do ride bus 84 and we off well when we went to the hospital we rode it together to get there and and it's just funny that he said that yeah, no, like, I didn't mean, like, party bus as in, like, party bus. I meant party bus as in, like, we're coming together, like, the Project Search community bus or something like that. Yeah. Like, more that way. Like, oh, hey, what's up, Tyler? I don't even need to go to the classroom to see you. I see yeah, you. Yeah, that's where you start feeling so independent and grown. You're like, cool, there's my <laughs> friend and there's this. Go ahead, Andrew. It's not like the Fortnite um, party bus. <laughs> <laughs> no. And... <laughs> Please don't mention I that. think Tyler, you learned your lesson last year, correct? Yeah. Okay, we cross at lights. We don't uh, hoop and holler when we're at bus stops, right? Um, I've had students drink beer at bus stops. We don't do that. Okay, you are representing Kaiser and Project Search when you're out there. And remember, you only get one chance to make a first impression. And just say you're all goofing off on the bus and you're to walk into a manager's office to be a, you know, intern in there to keep it. And they go, yeah, I saw you on the bus. Probably not, right? You just never, never know. Go ahead. Oh. It seems like last year wasn't the best year, was it? Why, why, why do you say that? You said that um, that you saw students drinking and stuff. Oh, that wasn't last year. Near the bus? That wasn't last year. Uh, Tyler just had um, some habits we had to break, you know, <laughs> kicking things into the road, kicking uh, when you walked by, burping, different things. But Tyler has really grown, okay? Because things like uh, that, I mean, what you do at your house and what you do at your bedroom, you know, <laughs> but out there in the public, you have to learn to step up and be professional. Okay. So Tyler, I'm sorry I picked on you a bit there, but at the same time, you, you went, you came so far. I mean, like so far, right? So I'm really proud of you for that. And I am a little nervous to have two buddies out there riding together. But if you want me to ride with you every day, then act like that. Okay. Most people don't want me to ride with them every day. <laughs> Go ahead, Nathan. Uh, no, because I was going to say that was interesting because, like, interesting enough, I don't know what it is, but there's this, like, when I'm at school, I act professional, even in my own room, because I'm just like, is Miss Sherry here? <laughs> I feel like there's, like, this constant uh, Miss Sherry goes oh, yeah. the, like, school. I'm just like, no, Miss Sherry's not here, but what is it? Why does it look like I have a pair of eyeballs on me? <laughs> I don't want to make you paranoid. I just want to help you grow up. That's all. No, no right. it's fine, but I, that's that's what I mean by professionalism is that I always practice those habits because I'm just like, what would Miss Sherry accept? No, this Miss Sherry would not accept this. I gotta do this. Okay. <laughs> you know, it was like with the poster, I was working on it with Miss Yvonne, and we were like, so Miss Sherry wouldn't uh, want us to do it this way, not this way. Okay, so let's put that there, that there. We'll cover these up until people are ready to see them, you know, kind of thing. Because I got a couple of uh, graphic pictures. I mean, they're in black and white, so it's a little bit better, but they're still pretty. Okay. That's that good that you're doing that. Like that. that way. So, 
if people choose not to look, they can cover their eyes, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's why I was going to start off with it covered. And then when they're ready, I was going to uncover it, but I was going to start it off covered. So then that way, when I pull up my post board, they don't see it automatically. Okay. No, good, no. Good, good. Okay. I see two girls here that just cannot quit fidgeting. Yes, Eleanor, you were one of those. And Jordan, I know you know you were one. <laughs> Come on, uh, five minutes. Uh, uh, and Jonathan, I need you to start commenting on other things besides just laughing when people get in trouble. Okay, that's the only time I hear your voice. Okay. Laughing at inappropriateness, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. All right, any last questions, comments, concerns? Okay. Well, I think I could let you go. Uh, what are you doing right now? Hmm? Huh? Andrew? What? What are you doing with all the funny faces? All right. Sorry. <clears throat> are we just, are we right now talking about maturity? <sighs> Andrew? Yes. Okay. All right. We all good? Have a good day, y'all. Mm hmm I think we're all good. All right. Have a good day, y'all. See y'all at 2.20. See y'all at 2.20. See you guys. Oh, Bye. 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 Bye.